Hey, fishy people. Um, we're looking at the 75 grow out. It's looking good. Uh, you know, everything's growing. Keep cutting it. Keeps growing. So, pretty, pretty good with that stuff. I've got a ton of little baby African cichlids, which you can now see. They're big enough. And they are just all over. I'll eventually have to um, probably set up some little traps in there to get them out because I don't want to have to tear down the whole tank and they'll eventually start to eat these plants. Uh, not to mention this tank is not uh, set up with African cichlid parameters. But they seem to be doing really well, growing really fast. Um, got some beautiful plants in the other day. Yesterday, two days ago. Real recently. Uh, while we're looking at babies in the 40 gallon, I've got another hatch of little baby placos. Um, there's quite a few in there. Uh, you can only see a couple of them, but yep, some, some little baby placos. And uh, I want to show you this guy, this to you guys. This is exciting for me. I, um, this is kind of a do-it-yourself PAR meter. And PAR is photosynthetic available radiation, which is what plants actually use. So uh, what, a, what a guy on a forum that I belong to did was take a Lux meter, which just measures general light and adapted a set of filters that uh, replicate what a PAR meter does, which just blocks out a certain spectrum that the plants don't use. So this has very, very similar filters. It was calibrated against a quantum meter, which is a you know, pretty reputable brand of uh, PAR meters, and it's waterproof. So I can now, um, you know, I can compare tanks. So, for instance, here's light levels, you know, midway in my tank. Here's light levels down, further down. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this level. You do have to get this level, and it's a little finicky, but you know, you can measure the different light levels in the different parts of your tank. Um, I also need a pretty steady hand. But uh, it's exciting for me, and I'm gonna post some pictures because I went around to all my tanks and I sat there for a while and you know made sure that I really got a good average. I did. I, I want to say I kind of biased on the higher side of the average, but it was a pretty good average of uh, the numbers that were popping up on different parts of my tanks for my different lights. So there's gonna be a review of all my Beamsworks lights and some of the Chinese rays that I made. Uh, that's going to be at the end of this video. Sorry, turn that off and put it away. Uh, the rest of the tanks are doing well. The I kind of I kind of need to redo this a little bit because a lot of these plants are growing a bit tall. I've had a lot of duckweed. I, I've tried to pull off a lot at top, but um, there's still quite a bit up there. And it was shedding it out, and I was getting kind of lengthy growth, so I need to cut it down and and put it back in. But I got these plants. These are, um, uh, I'm blanking on the name of those, but they stay really short. They look kind of like a high grow. I'm excited about them. And we'll go over to the 100 in just a sec. Um, Big tank's doing well. Uh, I removed a lot of this because it was just getting in the way and um, had someone that wanted it. But I, I'll eventually spread this portion out a little bit better and replace it over here. The uh, my angels are getting bigger. So here's my first little half to, or my first half dome. Um, my other koi angel and I've got a little black uh, half dome as well. And uh, this guy's ending up, well, they all kind of, you know, fight and are slightly aggressive, but they're kind of starting to be 
bullies in the tank and they've started taking out some of the smaller fish smaller fish so uh, this tank you see has you know quite a few less fish than it originally did and it's going to be decreasing and I'm going to hopefully be putting in some larger rainbows that are uh, are going to go along a little better with those angels I said rainbows right I meant rainbows not angels I'm going to get some larger rainbows to go with my angels um Sorry about that glare on there, uh, but that's uh, the hundreds doing well. I'm about to the 40, of course. Um, I'm gonna give, about to go over to back to the 75. Uh, not in the video, but I'm gonna go chop that down, and I might show a little bit later. You know how much I removed from that tank at a time. Um, We'll also be putting it uh, some of it over in these cubes. I've started to change the substrate, and I'm going to remove a lot of the floaters, which darken these up a lot. And I'm going to be putting in some plants because I keep talking about that. Uh, and just an, uh, an example, I've touched on this in other videos. These lights go out frequently. This light just went out. Uh, I have a whole bag over here of drivers I just ordered. I, I have four of them because I know that I'm going to be losing these more and more. Uh, it's you know one of the bad things about these lights they they go out pretty pretty frequently so that real quick is what's been up to me, up with me I'm getting in um, 24 dwarf cage and crawfish in the next week and some really cool mosses that I'm stoked about I'm getting a uh, pearl moss star moss Christmas moss mini fissidens and willow moss and I think there was one other uh, pretty pretty stoked about that I'll, I might talk about those in a video and um, yeah that's about it for today I, I keep meaning to make more videos so ho hopefully I'll be making more videos it's just I've been busy I uh, hope your takes doing well bye